There are three big differences between these two Lenovo laptops though, and the first is the form factor. The B40, MCG27 Nuke, has a 14-inch display compared to a 15.3-inch for its bigger brother. That translates into slightly better portability, 0.17 kg lighter, and a marginally smaller frame, 40 mm narrower. Then there's the fact that this laptop doesn't come with an optical drive by default, the opposite of the rest of the range. We believe this is more of a cost-cutting exercise since there is still an empty bay where the drive ought to be and Lenovo does provide an option to add one. The third difference and probably a deal-breaker for some of its targeted customers is the fact that it doesn't have an Americ keypad because of the form factor. Ouch! That's a shame. The laptop looks anything but basic or entry-level, true, it is plastic but it's matte and sturdy. This thing doesn't flex and the slightly reflective exterior adorned by the, old, Lenovo logo shouts I mean business to us. The keyboard is ordinary, 6 rows, non-dedicated function keys, boo, but a dedicated menu button. The keys, with Lenovo's signature curved base, feel slightly soft, and quiet, and have a decent travel. Nothing to write home about, or indeed type home about. As for the trackpad, it's a tad bigger than a credit card with two physical buttons located at the bottom of it. They've got surprisingly shallow travel and you need to press the thing in the middle to get adequate feedback, that is here a perceptible click. This is a value, entry-level laptop and as such, some level of corner cutting had to be expected. When Lenovo opted for a big one, the laptop comes with just 2GB of RAM, half that of the B50, a notebook which doesn't cost much more. With even a 100-pound smartphone offering the same amount of memory, it's puzzling as to why bean counters at the Chinese PC maker chose to save a few quid but ended up crippling the laptop. What makes it even worse is that this memory is shared with the graphics subsystem which could account for anywhere between 5% and 50% of the total system memory. As with many sub-pound 200 laptops, the B4030 is powered by the ubiquitous Intel Celeron N2840, in a dual-core Bay Trail processor that has two cores, with a base clock speed of 2.16 GHz, 1 MB of cache and onboard Intel HD graphics. Don't expect to use this processor for any taxing tasks, mainstream games are no-no unless you enjoy watching slideshows, as that's exactly what games will look like if you try to run them assuming that you managed to install them in the first place. The rest of the hardware consists of a 500GB hard disk drive, Bluetooth 4.0, 802.11n Wi-Fi, a gigabit Ethernet port, one USB 3.0 port, two USB 2.0 ports, VGA, HDMI and an audio socket. The card reader is at the front and you can upgrade the system memory by adding a second memory stick. Switching on the laptop reveals a couple of other corners which have been cut. The display is average at best, the million or so pixels that are spread over the 14-inch diagonal screen should have been brighter. Colors appear to be washed out which leads us to believe that the display panel hasn't been fine-tuned properly or is simply not good enough. When it comes to audio, listening to the onboard speakers reminded us that we were dealing with an entry-level product, as they're barely better than what comes out of cheap Bluetooth speakers. At least the engineers had the bright idea of locating the speakers between the laptop base and the display base, directly facing the user. Other than that the laptop ships with a myriad of applications, from Lenovo itself and from other third parties. Password Manager, Microsoft Office 2013, Power DVD 10, CyberLink Power 2 Go, Absolute Data Protect, Share It, McAfee LiveSafe and even MaxDawn, a popular web browser in Asia. A number of these load when Windows starts, substantially eating into the amount of free system memory you've got to play with. The laptop was updated to Windows 10 from Windows 8.1 but that didn't do anything to improve its poor performance. The B40 delivered some of the lowest scores we've seen on a laptop, and you can blame the processor and the meager amount of RAM for that. Credit where credit it due though, this machine did manage to complete all the benchmarks unlike some of its competitors in the past. But still, scores of 469, 1210 and 136 points on Threadmark's Ice Storm, Cloudgate and Firestrike tests respectively are not something to be proud of. Ditto for the abysmal 48 points and 6.12 FPS on Synbench 15 as well as the PC Mark 8 scores, 1218 on Home.